Welcome to 5G Hub. Today, we will talk about how to optimize the power in narrowband IoT with another feature beside power saving mode features that we discussed in the last video. In this video, we will talk about extended discontinuous reception or EDX. So if you are starting by power reduction method, we have two feature, power saving mode, and this from release uh, 12 in 3GBB and extend this uh, discontinuous reception from release 13. And EDRX is the most significant benefit of this feature if the user equipment has more control in terms of the power management required for its application. But before talking about extending this continuous reception feature and how it works, we will talk about DRX or discontinuous reception. The main purpose of DRX is to lower batteries consumption where there is no uplink or downlink data. And this is a common feature used in today LTE network and smartphone to reduce the power consumption. So <clears throat> the time device is entered to a sleep mode for some period of time as configured by operator. When the read that traffic, the user equipment woke up for data reception and transmission. So this continuous reception or DRX is a common feature used in today LTE network and smartphone. It helped to save power by switching off the receive the receiving section of the serial module for a fraction of a second. During this time, the device is not reachable. But as the period is under a second, the phone user doesn't recognize any problem or delays. Now we will talk about extended DRX is extended discontinuous reception. is an extension of an existing LTE feature that can be used by IoT devices to reduce power consumption. So for IoT machine to machine devices, most often the delay of few seconds or minutes in receiving incoming byte packages is not crucial. So extended or EDRX is doing that by extending the time of regular DRX. During EDRX, the device remains always attached to the network and at least 100 bytes of packages terminated to the device is forward once it's receiving the section awake again. So the DRX time can be configured up to 175 minutes for narrowband IoT and around 45 minutes for LTE M, but this has an impact on data reception. So the device in EDRX is in active mode for a few minutes to few hours, but this is acceptable for a device to not be reachable, uh, reachable for a few seconds or uh, longer versus LTE few seconds only. So why EDRX is useful for IoT applications? If the device is sleeping for a long duration of time, it won't be reachable to the network during this period. Narrowband IoT devices are designed for applications where it's acceptable for them to remain unreachable for long periods and check paging every few hours. So EDRX works well for narrowband IoT devices. So if we are talking about, think of an IoT device which works as a temperature sensor and uploads the temperature of the surrounding every few hours. There won't be a scenario where some information has, has to reach this user equipment urgently and it can be afforded to be in sleep mode for hours at end only walking up to check paging and upload data every few hours. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.